blather. God just filled me and he preaches a lot of eternal, he preached a lot of eternal life on earth doctrine at me. It was encouragement. He said it all along to uh, keep the faith because, um, to keep the works of holiness, essentially, because we didn't have much Tanakh in our processed scriptures. I've got a copy of the Bible, but we haven't processed it in the Kara and Noahide faith community yet. It's being done now. And recently, with a new amount of scripture just done, um, eight or so more chapters, um, less need for doctrine to be pushed because we're more biblical now. And we can rely on a heavenly eternity more now, which is what's inevitably coming anyway. So the more scripture you get of that, the more it's, it's, it focuses you on the eternity in heaven. So that's the way it really is by the looks of it. So sort of, when you're young as a movement, uh, a new movement, it focuses you on eternal life on earth. And I think that's what Jesus was going through a lot. And what Judaism was going through a lot. Um... And it's early thinking of uh, resurrections and eternal life on earth, some ideas and things. When you settle down, uh, it's like the end of Ecclesiastes, you're used to being an old person and not really the way it really ever was. So these are mysteries which people don't understand, especially when Danny Daly leaves the Catholic Church and the Pentecostal Church and starts his own car and no wide religion sort of leaving what he was understood standing as a truth and coming into the, the Torah, but sort of understanding a bit better now. 